Hi everyone, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Hope you're doing well. I do apologize that there hasn't been that many videos up on the channel. Just a quick update. I sadly had a bereavement in my family. I sadly lost my uncle. So do apologize that there hasn't been that many videos up, but thanks to Vodafone, we do have another unboxing and let's get into that. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at a new brand actually. It's the first time I've ever looked at the ZTE brand. So I'm very interested to have a look at this device. So this is the ZTE Blade A512 edition here, and this is from Vodafone. So first of all, on the front, you do have that blade-like effect there, and you have the branding and the logo. On the sides, there isn't anything. On the top, you're just gonna find a tiny little bit of retail information. And then actually on the back as well, we don't have too much information. So there is a QR code here that will give you some more information. You can see it's got a Snapdragon Qualcomm processor, but otherwise there are some little basic specs that I have pulled off the internet here for you. So it was released in July 2016. It's running Android 6.0, has a 5.2 inch display, so it's quite a nice big display, has a 13 megapixel camera, which is quite good as well. That's its rear facing camera. It has a 1080p recording, so it's full HD recording has two gigabytes of RAM, which is really good. Also, it's a quad core device and it has a 2,540 minute hour battery. So it does have some really good specs for its price, low to mid range pricing, but more about that in some upcoming videos. If there is any videos you'd like to see on this device, as this is quite a new device for myself, please let me know. If there's anything you'd like to see, just let us know, drop a comment down on the channel. It's always great to read your comments. So just gonna, So the device is sitting over here on top and you have a little tab to just pull that up and out. So I'm just gonna sit that to the side. So you do have its tray here. I'm just gonna take the tray out first of all. So you have your quick start guide here. So any information you need to know about the device is in here. But like I said, if you want to leave a comment down below and I will be happy to help out. So underneath we do have our SIM tool, which I'll show you how to insert the SIM card into this device. Then you have some headphones so you can listen to music. And also you have your charger and sync cable. So this is a micro USB, so not USB-C on this device. This is a micro USB for charging and syncing. And you also have your three prong plug here for the UK, quite a small and compact one, which looks very nice. So what we're gonna do, move this aside and let's have a look at the device. So as you can see on the front here, it's just outlining some of them specs yet again. So the 5.2 inch display, the quad core processor, that quite huge amount of battery there, 2,540, 13 megapixel camera, and Android 6.0, and it's ZTE Blade A512, and it's 4G as well, there's a 4G tab here. So I'm just gonna peel off this here. What we're gonna do is power this up. So the power key is on the right hand side, and it has a different texture. So it feels slightly different to the volume rockers. I've got to say, the first impression of the screen it looks very nice and sharp, actually quite impressed with the screen and it's a nice size 5.2 is a nice size so first of all we're jumping into Android here and it is welcome so next English is selected so next step is your Wi-Fi so if you see your Wi-Fi connection on here jump on there and sign into that and save that data so you don't use all your data I'm actually going to show you a basics video on this device that will help all these little bits so it's to check in for any software update so have another device or an older device, you can actually pull your backup from that one. I'm gonna say no thank you and hit next. Again, just checking information. So this is where you'd add your Google account. So it's good to add your Google account so you can download all the apps, movies, TV, game shows, and music you want to listen to on your device. So if you don't have one, you can create one as well. It's gonna say here why I want to actually not do this, but I will show you again in that basics video. So next is a name for your device. It's good to have a name for your device as when you're doing a backup, it will know what the backup is of that device. And when you want to share something to this device, so via Bluetooth, you may want to share something and it will be nice to have a name. So set up an email account. I'm just gonna say not now at the moment. Next is protection of your device. And there are still so many people I know that don't protect their devices. This device offers pin, pattern or password. So you can even draw something, a number, it's worth doing as if you do lose this you will lose all your precious data and people may share this and it can be quite upsetting for people 
that may have lost their phones. So please, please, please put protection on your device. So I'm actually going to untick this at the moment and show you how to set up again in a future video. So Google services and agreements, you have to agree to these to use their services. Next is accelerated location. So it's just saying here that it may store some of your data and your location on your device and may use when you're not actually using the application. So it's up to you to agree to this one. For the moment, I'm just gonna tick and then next. Then because this is from Vodafone, you do have the options to install the Vodafone applications here. Or in fact, we, we press home, got it. And we're into our home screen. So like I said, this is running Android 6.0 and this has been very fast on some of the latest models I have tried out. If there is any videos you'd like to see, please do let me know. Thanks always for sticking by me. I am sorry that there hasn't been too many videos from myself from the past two weeks. Like I said, I do apologize for that. But any videos you'd like to see, please leave a comment down below. Remember to give a thumbs up as it is great for Vodafone to send me all these latest devices. And also remember to subscribe to the channel for our latest news, reviews, and unboxings. We do have loads of unboxings on here and giveaways as well. Thanks always for watching. This has been the ZTE Blade A5 12 unboxing and setup. I hope you enjoyed it. From me, Ricky, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.